It's an emotional holiday season in San Bruno, California. I usually look forward to the holidays, and this is the first holiday. I don't know if I can do this. Holiday decorations obscured by construction crews. Still repairing the damage from September's devastating gas line explosion. Some homeowners who lost everything in the explosion still put up Christmas decorations on their empty lots. It's going to be sad because we're going to look out and see a lot of people that, that are really inconvenienced. The National Transportation Safety Board has yet to determine exactly what caused the pipeline to rupture. A preliminary report released Tuesday said the line showed no signs of corrosion and wasn't dented or leaking. But it did confirm that the pipe was riddled with welding seams, despite PG&E's previous claims that it was seamless. PG&E had a, a um, horrific wake-up call that I hope they will um, telegraph to utilities across the country. The NTSB says it won't release a final report until late next year, so residents will have to wait for answers. Why this happened to us, it should have never happened to us. If somebody was at fault, I'd like to know who it is, and, and if somebody isn't at fault, I'd like to get on with my life. Most here say they won't get closure until homes are rebuilt and their neighbors return. Haven Daily, The Associated Press, San Bruno, California.